welcome to another Small Biz SL video. Today, we're not doing a haul, we're doing a Q&A. I asked you guys to ask me some questions, and I have a list here, and I'm going to go through them. And, yeah, we're just going to see how many of the questions we can answer. If there's some yelling, my brothers are playing rather rough, and I asked them not to, but they are little boys, so they kind of, they're still playing rough. Alright, so, we're going to start off with some basic info. Okay, so, um, something that I got asked by one of my closer fans who I DM on Instagram was, what is my name? Um, and it occurred to me that I never actually introduced myself. Well, let me start here. Hello. Wait a minute! Who are you? My name is Saskia. <laughs> um, last name Katala, but I usually just go by K because that's what it starts with. So just Saskia is fine. And yeah, welcome. Hello, my name is Saskia. <laughs> so let's get into the questions. You have so adorable heads, dear. How you take care of your heads? Some tips, please. First of all, thank you. I am very proud of my hair. Um, so how do I take care of it? I don't wash it with shampoo very often. Condition it a lot, but only shampoo it once or twice a week. One, two, two, to three, two to three times a week at most, usually. Um, and at first, if you have really greasy hair, it'll get really greasy, but the reason it's greasy is because it's overcompensating from... Or, I'm not a doctor. Usually the reason why it's super greasy is because you can wash it too much and then it has to overcompensate. So if you let those natural hair oil take care of your hair, you will have a nicer natural hair. And I mean, that's basically what I do. When I shower, usually just condition. Every once in a while, I wash it. If I get something in it, I will spot clean it. Like just like, oh, I got some mud in this strand of my hair. If, it, if I wash my hair yesterday, I will not wash my entire hair again. I will just wash that one spot to help preserve as much of the natural oils as possible and then obviously condition it again. I'm also trying a new hair oil from Star Cosmetics and that will be reviewed in the next video so I will go even more into detail about my hair next video. So stay tuned. My question is where how did you get this idea? I really like those reddit videos, especially the choosing bagger ones, as I mentioned earlier, and like you'd see Instagram influencers with like 50 to 200 followers and they're like, oh, send me like so much free stuff and I'll advertise for you but you still have to pay for it, and or you'll see, okay, I'll buy your stuff but if you want me to talk about it, God paid me. So I just wanted to be that good influencer, <laughs> if that makes sense, um, with the free advertisement. And I buy your stuff. Of course, small businesses, they're really excited about this idea and a lot of them do still help compensate me for my time with either free gifts or discount codes. I'm an ambassador for a couple of them. So, <laughs> you guys are all absolutely amazing and I'm so excited to continue to produce this stuff for you guys with the small businesses. My question is, from which camera do you shoot your videos, and where do you do the shootings? So I actually just use my phone to film. Um, it's just an LG. It's a couple years old now. It's not the best camera, but um, I don't really have the budget for a new camera right now. So I need to find a way to make some money so I can A, keep the series going, and B, get a new camera. But then I have to render it down to send it to my editor, and then that's why it's kind of bad. The original footage is better. And then where do I film? I'm currently filming in front of my closet doors in my bedroom. Before, I was filming at my desk, which is just a little bit further up. These closet doors are still in it. I just didn't sit right in front of them. I just really like it. thought it was a nice light thing, and then I had, like, uh, these things help hold the poster up when I put it up. And then when it's not, they have... This rainbow mountain. I like that. Which video editor do you use? 
so I don't actually edit my own videos. Um, I mean, I do, sort of. I put my footage together in the order that I want it, and I take out anything that I don't want in it, which is mostly just pauses, or if, I don't know, if I forget to grab something, I have to go back and get it. That's the kind of stuff I edit out. And then I take that video, send it to my editor, who's a literal person, and then they do the music and any sounds or anything <laughs> that is added to the videos is done by them. And if they want to share who they are, they will leave a link to how to reach them if you want to use their services down in the description. How was the family responding when they saw the video? Are the videos a surprise for them? Siblings knew pretty quickly. I still don't know how to describe how my parents react, and I'm kind of still trying to keep them on the down low a little bit, and so, and they do watch some of my videos and they don't know what it is, it is a surprise for them as it is. For the viewer, I pick what I buy, my brother sometimes knows what businesses I'm buying from, but that's it, so it is very much just me. That knows what's going on. What are the challenges you face? So she has some challenges is definitely because it's a new thing, not knowing like how it would um be received, like if there was an audience for it. Like when I was looking into YouTube, people were saying that there's people for every niche. And so I was like, Alright, you know what? Maybe I'll try because I mean, there's got to be an audience, right? And, like, you see all these, like, oh, trying Shein clothes or trying, you know, the big brands. I cannot think of any other big brand right now. Forever 21 or Arden or, you know, whatever. So many big brands. And I just, you know, wanted to do that kind of thing. Just all small businesses. Like, I'm not reviewing James Charles' makeup palette, I'm reviewing the makeups and lip glosses from Zazu Cosmetics. You know, she has just starting her business, but it's still absolutely amazing and I loved it so much. Or, rather than, I don't know, getting jewelry from Peoples or some of the Pandora, I got it from Aphrodite or from Beehive or from Demode. So, definitely helps, like, you know, it's the same idea, just on a different scale, and I really like it. What is your favorite hobby? Performing arts. I like doing acting, uh, dancing, singing, and I'm also an equestrian who writes both English and Western, depending on the mood, but I'll also, I'll also really like tra just trail riding or going out working some cattle. I have the most amazing quarter horse who will literally let me do anything. I love him so much. <laughs> Maybe I'll include a video. A little photo or video at the end of this. What is the best comedy movie you have ever seen? I don't really watch that many comedy movies, like I cannot think of a single comedy movie right now. I like I watch funny videos, like shorter videos, but for the most part, comedy isn't really my thing. I prefer like action and thriller movies. I don't know, I think it's just because I have a relatively short attention span, but if I'm watching a cool movie it needs to be like really like gripping to, like, you know, make me not want to quit, but, yeah, no, can't remember, or, like, you know, I watch, like, comedy horror movies, does that count, like, Scared Movie 3 is, like, a comedy horror movie, or, uh, Murder Mystery, I think it is, with Adam Sandler, that's a horror, mis horror comedy, mystery comedy kind of movie, like, those are okay, like, those are kind of funny. I don't know if those count, or if I just sound kind of twisted now, but 
Yeah, no, I just have a short attention span and don't really like watching slow movies or movies that are, you know, funny. Not to diss comedy, it's just not something I've really watched ever, I don't think. Sorry. What problem does your business solve and how much time do you spend? Well, I don't know if I'd call it a business because I don't make money right now and I don't sell goods. It's more like a service, but I guess services can also be businesses. It, it's there to help small businesses as a free option of advertisement. And the whole point is that the worst thing that could possibly happen if you go through my services is that you have somebody by yourself. If you gain zero followers, or zero subscribers, or zero other sales, the very worst thing that can happen is I bought from you. I bought your stuff. That is the worst that can happen. So you still get something out of it by going through it. And I mean, I get content, so I guess I sort of get something out of it. And then, uh, how much time do I spend? At first it was a lot. I had to spend a lot of time on getting everything set up. Um, and at first I was also editing my own videos and that spent even more time and I was managing everything myself. So since I got a social media and a manager and an editor, it's really gotten a lot easier um, time management wise, which is really important now that I've gone back to uh, doing university because I'm taking online classes. So it can be a little bit overwhelming, especially now finding time to settle down and film a little bit. But I mean, filming takes like half an hour, maybe a little more, and then getting ready sometimes. Gotta pick out something to wear, maybe brush my hair and put on mascara, which I didn't do today. I may brush my hair, but that's it. And then sometimes. I mean, and then putting the clips together and sending them to my editor, but that only takes like an hour at most usually, and then it's just ordering, which, I mean, unless I'm being really picky, does not take an hour, so it doesn't take too long, and then like that's once a week, so it's like two to three hours once a week, um, so it's not that bad. I guess that basically wraps up the video, if you have any more questions, um, I'd love to do another Q&A. Maybe we can, I don't know, do another one at like 500 or 1,000 subscribers. Not sure yet. We'll see. And yeah, I really like this. And I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, that again, my name is Saskia and I'm signing off here for Small Biz SL.